sharing news and resources with clients through their WordPress dashboard. I've been using a plugin to set up client resources in the admin side of their own sites. It's looked impressive, but as I'm rebuilding my business to be more simple in keeping with the keep it simple, stupid principle and agile, I've realized a code snippet will give me all that I think my clients need. And in my case, I think that is an iframe news widget in the client's dashboard, which will allow me to update them on things that are happening with us and let them know about things that they might be interested in. And also an admin menu link to a hidden resources page or site. Below this video, you'll see a link to this blog post article, which contains all of the code that I'm using here. And hopefully the notes that I've added will allow you to make this your own. But I should say that the code here has been amended from various different sources. If you see a better way, please let me know and I will update this and give you a credit. The advantage of me going this route is that, well, it removes one more plugin dependency and the weight of that plugin, but it also allows me to update all clients in one go from my end. For the rest of this video, I'm just gonna show you how the code works using a live example. So let me go over to my test site and here is my dashboard, here is my widget, and I've embedded this. And what it is, it's an iframe of a page which is on my site, and with it, I've been able to remove the header and the footer for that particular page. I've also added in a link to our email address and duplicated the link that is over here, the your resources. And if we click on this, and it isn't the default behavior for this to open up in a new tab so I've added that code which you could also remove but this link then takes them to this tab which is again on our site and it is hidden Beaver Builder, the sponsor of this blog, is who I've been using since 2014. And their Beaver Thema plugin has some powerful conditionals. One of those is that you can just show content on a page when they are coming through a referral link or a URL variable, as I've got over here. So if you were to come to this page, you wouldn't see anything. You would have to go through this particular variable that I've set up. If you are a Beaver Builder user, there's more information over there but I guess this isn't really needed there's nothing I would particularly need to hide here but you could do it I guess by just putting a long URL if you wanted to hide it and I've also set it with my SEO plugin so it's a no follow okay let's go back to the dashboard I guess most people would take the code that I've got and be adding it to their Charles themes functions PHP file. So there we go to appearance and then over to the theme editor. And I've got that open up over here. So let's just go here and child theme and then to themes functions or functions PHP. But as you can see here with mine, this is typical starting place for me with WordPress these days. And my snippets are really too much. This doesn't include the one that I'm talking about today. And then I add in more performance ones. So what I'm actually using in this case, although I'm trying to slim down my plugin dependencies, I have added in a snippets plugin, which is a fairly new one. I think the most powerful one, it is WP Codebox and Avidu, the author, has become a bit of a friend. He's someone who is following this blog. I'll just go over to his page and give him a shout out here. He has got a lifetime deal going on with a discount of 20%. He's also given me a discount code of 25%. So if you use the coupon code Beaver Junction and it's on my blog post, you can get this for less. Of course, it is a new plugin. So there's a bit of a gamble with it. I've taken that because I really like the work that's been done on it. It has a place where you can store all your snippets to the cloud and then move them to your next site and just activate them. And it has a really powerful conditions builder and there's lots more work that he's doing. It also has a library of snippets. So I think it's really useful. Anyway, enough of that. Let me go over to where I've got it active and you can see the code better here as well. It's much better to work with because you can set this to whatever style you are used to. This is one that I like. And I'm just going to show you first the version that I took a screenshot of on my blog post. So I'm just going to disable this and go over to the copy with it just slightly changed and just enable and we'll go back and do a refresh. 
And this is what's shown on my blog. You'll see that the text is center aligned here. And now I've got no scrolling. I've just got this image. You might prefer to do this. Again, it's just an iframe of something that's on another page. But I set it up so there's no scrolling and the link is also on the page. So I could change the image and I could change the link if that's how you want to display things. I think I'm going to go with the scrolling. But let me just let you know what you might need to change from the code that's on the blog post. So if we go down to the bottom here, you'll just need to make sure that you remove the scrolling no from this. One thing to mention though, because I haven't set it up because I don't think I'm going to do it this way, is that I've set the heights and widths for the image that we are showing, but I don't think it works too well responsively. So you might need to, as you can see, I'll put some styling on the paragraph to center it here, but you might want to come in here and add in some responsive styles if this is the route that you're going. Anyway, I don't think I'm going that route, so I'm going to go back to this one and activate this again. Let's just move this out of the way. And the start of the code, which I've added, you won't need to be adding the PHP, it's missing from my blog. That's just something that goes with the plugin here, is it's adding this link here to our menu. And you can see here, it's pretty easy to understand. If you want to change the name of that, then you can change that here. If you want to change the dash icon from this uh, learn more cap that we've got over here, I've included a link which takes you to the dash icons here and you can select any of these and then just take this and place this over here. And if you want to change the position on the menu here, you can change this three and also this three over here. So I think three is good. Again, I've contained in the blog post a link within the code which goes to how the positions work. As you can see here, that's the dashboard link. And I put it at three, so it's just above the separator. So I think that's a nice position because there's a bit of a gap before it goes onto the post, but you might want to change it. Let me just go and change it so you can see how that works. I'm gonna position this two, one, and I need to change this one, two, one, and we shall save this and give this a refresh. And hopefully this should just move above the dashboard there we are so we can change that there let's go back and that's all i need to say on that that is obviously the link to my page the next section which starts from here and ends here is what is javascript that needs to make sure that that opens in a new tab so it's set to target blank here so i've got the url for um, the link that is here in two places here, maybe not the most efficient way, but if you don't want that to happen, then you could just remove this section over here. I think that's all I need to say on that. And then we can move into the bit that adds in the dashboard widget and the things you might want to change here will be your title. Let's just go back over here. So you just see, I've called this WP Corner Shop News. And if we go back here, you just need to change this little section over here. And I think the rest we pretty much covered over here. That's just where my iframe is and my link to that particular page. Again, I'm using Beaver Builders conditionals here to hide the content there. I think that's it. I hope this was useful. Thank you for listening today and I hope I see you in another video. Bye-bye.